is everything I got in my haul. Welcome back to my channel. So finally, after like two and a half weeks, my shipment came in. I did kind of like a, a mini haul from either Sheen, Shine, Shein. I have no idea how to pronounce it. So if you guys know how to pronounce it and there's like a video how to pronounce it, link it in the comment section so that way I don't sound like a dumb person because I'm really excited to see everything that I got. I will definitely link in the description box everything I got. I've been gone for a little bit. I have just been not sticking to a plan and ignoring my habits and got into a bad habit of doing nothing. So, you know, this is a work in progress. People that stick and have this like commitment to uploading, uploading, uploading by themselves, like having no team, having nobody like to like, like make sure they're coordinating everything correctly. Like I give them so much props. It's a lot. And it's like, there's so much stuff I want to do, but it's like, how does a person do it? They have a team and I don't, but that's okay. Sipping my life tea, which today is peach tea with apple fiber probiotics and mango aloe let's get into what i bought so i do remember buying these two things this is the cutest coasters i found i got this to go to my friend's house because she has a movie room that we're redoing and open it up cute little coasters look how cute that is that's one so I got this for the movie room that we have and I think it's so cute. It's rubbery and you can clean them off. I'm so excited to see how long these last. And I don't remember the price of these, but I will definitely link it below. It is so cute and adorable. Oh, I did get these. I got these. It's five pair reusable. Um, and they're like the nipple covers because I figured I'd probably be wearing these out uh, shirts. Uh, tank tops and stuff like that and that have built-in bras, but I don't want my nipples to be yapping out So I want to try these I never tried them before but I think it was like three bucks less than five bucks I said one as well Throw it <sighs> into the Shirts, I have no idea what this is. I think I got a sweater. I don't remember. It's gray <laughs> It's a cover for work. So this is my cover for work <laughs> This is so funny. So, because, you know, at work in the corporate area, you have to cover yourself up and be modest. Oh, look. Perfect. I like this. Oh, it just covers up just a little bit. Just, you know, when I get a little cold at work. I might just keep this on for the rest of the video. So, I wasn't so sure what size to get. I think I got this in an extra large. So, because some of these say true to fit, some of these say you got to run up, my body is definitely an interesting body type since I have fat, loose skin, and things are just, like, different everywhere. I can fit in a medium, I can fit in an extra large, you know, anything to make our bodies, our minds confuse even more. So, I decided to go into a bigger size because I'm, like, just in case. Um, so this is actually rather snug, which is good. So it stays here. And then this kind of can just fall, go on the side, because I think it goes like that. So I'm kind of excited to wear this in the office. So I think I'm going to leave this on for the rest of the day. I mean, for the video. Ooh, animal prints. Fun fact, I love animal prints. I definitely love the wild. Oh, look at this shirt. So I got this for work which I'm glad I got an extra large because it looks like it will fit me. Again, because of my loose skin and stuff, definitely want to make sure it fits good. I used to be a stickler and saying I don't want to buy certain things because that improves I'm gaining weight or whatever my mindset was at the time. Definitely feel as though I need to be more aware that society does have things that makes us go a little crazy but, but i got this for work this is a work shirt so excited and it's actually good material i think a lot of the stuff that i did buy is under 20 dollars, which is what i was trying to keep the next thing i got is a bag which is under 20 bucks and i want to see how this works 
I do have a friend that I live literally four minutes away from. And I just need to leave a bag there sometimes. So I figure instead of leaving my travel book bag there at her house, I would get a tote bag from this place. And actually, for under 20 bucks, it's a lining. It's pretty good. Look how cute. It says Hello Weekend. Look how adorable. And it's actually lined in the inside. And it has a little pocket. Oh, look. This is, like, perfect. I can just leave this at her house now. Isn't this awesome? It's pretty cool. I love this. I love that. I just, I love that. This is awesome. Perfect. I had the most of the feeling my animal coat when I was shopping. And I was like debating back and forth. And it was just a little small. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Oh, look how cute. So they've got this little corner thing right here. That's nice. This is for work. So. It is an extra large, which fits a 12 for them. So, like, again, I say don't go off sizes when you're going online. Read the reviews and definitely look at the sizes. Um, extra large is a 12, which I can't believe because I would think extra large would be bigger than that. I'm used to, like, a 16, 15, something like that. But, you know, things change nowadays. So, I think I take the work clothes and hangout clothes. So, what's this? Oh, it's like a tank top. Okay, so I got a tank top. I got a tank top. Oh, and it curls up in the front. Here you go. Can you see the bottom and the top? How cute. And this is also an extra large. Um, the material, I'm actually shocked, is really good, you guys. This one, I think, is a work one, too. I think I'm finishing up my work one. I think I did, like, half work, half hang out. Yeah, it was definitely my animal print vibes. Oh, look. This is not a work shirt then. This is a hanging out shirt like a, I would get in trouble at work. But look how cute the, look how cute and simple that is. It has like a little cheetah bow off shoulder. I cannot wait to wear this. This goes in the back, obviously, but. Okay, so I think that is the rest of my work. Now I'm going into my hangout clothes. This is a hangout shirt. <gasps> I love this color. It's a t-shirt. And it is the Maloho, as you guys all know. I believe in the evil eye. Hence why I have multiple tattoos of it. Um, but I just love this shirt. I love this. Ah, yay. And, oh, maybe I did have another work shirt. I got another simple one. Oh, okay. Look. Simple. It's a pink, blush pink with an evil eye, obviously. I think I got a lot of my local shirts because I thought it was so freaking cool. Um, what's this? Maybe I did miss one. I did miss a work shirt. But maybe not because I don't know if she's going to let me wear that. Yeah, long story short. It's similar to the other one, but it has a little thing on the bottom. Look how cute. I love this. So the next one is this shirt, which looks super big, but that's fine because it's to be hanging out in. Um, probably didn't get away with it being a work shirt, but um, I bought this in purposely just to hang out with. But it's just simple. It has that design and it's color, you know, blotted pattern, which is, I liked. Um, they had a long sleeve version of this and I actually really did like it. Oh no, this is, so when I started to lose weight, I think I, I'll try to see if I can find the picture. Um, it was just a t-shirt and it said perfectly imperfect. So I found it in maroon because I feel like this color does pop with my skin. Um, and I got it and you know, I had it and it just like, I just love my t-shirt. I got it at JCPenney, but they had it this and they have different colors, so I'm excited. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, look at that. Isn't this cute, y'all? Look at it. And then it has this for off the shoulder, and it says love. Let's get that on camera. So I cannot wait to wear this. I'll take a picture in this. I get so 
conscientious because I went from being very big to very small and having that, you know, body dysmorphia look and then accepting the fact that I'm back at a weight that I first consult consulted weight loss surgery is just trying to wrap my mind of over like around that it has been so insane. So I did carefully try to not shop certain places because I went from hating to shopping to loving to shop because I could just find anything that would fit me to back to hating shopping because things wouldn't fit me. And it's all just part of the journey. So I'm excited the fact that they look like they'll fit me. I'm hoping they will. I don't know if you guys want me to do a future video of me trying on clothes when I do them. Let me know in the description box. But it definitely is something that I'm learning to go through, like work through. Uh, the fact that, you know, the disappointment of my weight gain um, after weight loss surgery and just like the taste in of normalcy I tasted like that's how I used to talk to myself and it didn't dawn on me until my instructor told me you know let's work on the way you speak to yourself because you speak very negative and I was like oh my goodness I I do like I know I did but I didn't realize I verbally vocalized it enough and it's like man um I have to work on that part because yes I might have not been where I was 2018 2019 however i am not the girl i was prior to 2017 and i'm evolving and you know like my nutritionist says toning is not weight loss i do feel a lot better i know i am toning up i'm not losing weight i do know that i have issues that i need to work on which i'm currently into therapy um I know that I need to eat a lot better because I am not. I know if I do certain things, I will get the result, yet I have fear that's right here. And it's like, the fear was self-sabotage. It's totally just all in one. I'm holding myself back because I still have a lot to mentally work with myself to feel like it is okay to go back on this weight loss journey. Um, but that probably would make more sense if I upload the video prior to, so I'm going to do that for sure for you guys. Um, but yeah, got a little deep there. But, you know, such is life. I mean, this was a big step shopping for myself and willingly to say I bought extra large clothes because that would totally have crushed me months ago and a year ago i would totally have shut down and ate a whole bunch of freaking food um because i got to that point where i was shopping mediums and like mediums were a little baggy back to an extra large is like blowing my mind but at the same time so much happened from then to now that it's basically come down to a point where I have to work on my inner self in order to work, get that full body transition of just being happy with myself, um, which I have been doing. I have been seeing my therapist once a week. I've been just loving everything and, you know, working on my limited beliefs, working on, you know, the root of my issues and why I got to how I got to and like the 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 safety blanket is coming off which is my weight um is definitely something that I'm struggling with getting rid of because even though it was a root of my depression being heavy and especially being back to this is definitely hard to accept but what's even harder to accept is the fact that it made me feel safe and I am working on that because it's like it's like trying to get your child or a kid 
used to not having that baby blanket that makes them feel safe and comfortable and just like like that transition it's hard it's like they don't want to let it go <laughs> and that's kind of how I am with the even though I complain about you know this it's kind of like my armor but that's where BJJ comes in in you know into place and I've learned that I can learn how to protect myself and build that armor without physically doing it to myself. So that is a talk for another time. So I am so happy that I got to just express a little bit of what's been going on and show you my haul. I absolutely love everything. I can't wait to try it on. I will be posting pictures on Instagram and definitely telling you how I feel about everything and I just love this bag this bag is so cute I'm gonna fill it up and take it to my friend's house tonight because I cannot wait so thank you so much for watching if you like videos like these make sure you comment below a uh, like and put the notification button I am working my very best on getting consistent um, I am consistent with being inconsistent but I am consistent with working on it that's a mouthful but it is very true it's ha little things little habits that form consistency because motivation is bs you will be motivated for a week a month two months but when something happens motivation goes out the window and whatever your habit that you have built and learned will stick will carry you on to continue the path that you were once motivated on and you will have to relearn re motiva motiv motivation, if I can speak. So, moral of the story, build small habits. I am doing my very best to get myself back into the habit so I can get myself motivation, motivation to post this stuff for you because I feel like there's so much I want to talk about and there's so many ideas and I feel like I want to get my money's worth with my gimbal but I rather just turn on my camera my phone and vlog real quick for you and just talk about the things that are coming to my mind without having to edit if you like that idea comment below because I just might do that I want to talk about weight gain I want to talk about mental health I want to talk about the community I want to talk about everything um but it's just getting there to do it and making it look nice. But sometimes this this journey is not eye appealing. So <laughs> why do I feel like I need to be perfect? Because I, I over obsess. But anyways, let's get them with y'all.